So we're assuming that a lot of folks that are joining us are already familiar with LDN, but I'm guessing there are some people who may not know exactly what it is. So our first question is for McCall. And McCall, if you can tell us what naltrexone is versus low-dose naltrexone, because people get very confused about that, and what they're used for and how they're different. So uh, if you can explain to us a little bit about that, uh, that difference. For sure. Absolutely. So, you know, when you go to your doctor and you want to talk to him about low-dose naltrexone, their first thought is the conventional normal medication, which is plain old naltrexone. So to give you guys an idea about regular naltrexone, it starts at 50 milligrams, 5-0, and it goes up to a few hundred. Largely, this medication is used as an opioid blocker. Okay, so it's what's called an opioid antagonist. It blocks pain medication. It also blocks your natural opioids, which can be used for addictions of most any kind. Um, it's even used in part of Contrave, the weight loss medication, because it starts to impact your kind of subconscious cravings. So it really is great for curbing that, but that's at high doses, right? So it ends up blocking opioids. When you make it into microscopic amounts, and most people that prescribe LDN start at 1.5 milligrams. So think about that compared to 50 and they increase up over a few weeks to the total amount of 4.5 milligrams. So it's about a 10th roughly as potent as traditional naltrexone. And what happens when you make it into that microscopic dose is pretty interesting. So it's the complete opposite of what naltrexone normally does. So the thought behind it is that it blocks a tiny, tiny amount of our endogenous opioids, okay? So it suppresses it just enough to tell your body, hey, we actually need more opioids, we're in this deficit. Your body surmounts that deficit and it actually leaves you in a state of excess opioids, okay? What that does when you're walking around with this slight increase in opioids is it reduces inflammation of any kind. And what we know for autoimmune disease in the world of functional medicine, at least, uh, autoimmune disease is driven by inflammation. So if we can find ways to reduce people's inflammation, we can reduce the burden of their autoimmune disease. So this lowers inflammation of any kind, um, which, you know, in turn reduces antibodies in, in times it can also imp has implications in cancer. So it can prune off weak cancer cells. So completely different mechanism of action than traditional old naltrexone that's used for, you know, addiction and um, narcotics. 